Oh boy, I am parched. I am ready for a beverage. How about a nice big glass of kitty piddle? Hello, Goblins and Goblinettes. Welcome back to another edition of Destined to Be Goblin. Destin Goblin here. This is where I will try a food product of some kind and decide whether or not I should give it my Destin Goblin seal of approval. <laughs> All right, what I am reviewing today are actually three flavors of soda with some very disgusting sounding names to them. Now, the company is called Always Ask for Avery's. Always Ask for Avery's Sodas. I did a little research on this company. I had never heard of them before. They were actually started in 1904. They've been around for a long time. They have a very big distribution all across the United States. Mrs. Goblin got these for me. I'm not exactly sure where she found them, but I guess you can find them in a lot of different types of convenience stores, grocery stores, things like that. I personally have never seen them before, um, but again, Mrs. Goblin always traveling. If you're not subscribed to her channel, make sure you check her out, Mrs. Goblin's Travels. She puts all of her travels up on YouTube as well. So uh, maybe you can figure out where she got these from by watching some of her videos. So I've got three different flavors here. They do have a, a whole line. Apparently they put out a lot of different types of like novelty sodas and things. They put some out during the election. Uh, they had a Trump tonic and a Biden berry flavor. So they had one that was called I Voted Today. <laughs> Lots of different types of sodas. And they have a whole line of what they call totally, totally gross sodas. That's what these are right here. Um, I have Kitty Piddle. I have Bug Barf. And then I also have Dog Drool. Um, there's a lot of other flavors of these. I saw Monster Mucus. There's a Worm Ooze. There's Alien Snot. So there you go. Kids will, I'm sure, love these um, just from the novelty of, oh, I'm going to have a bottle of Kitty Piddle. Um, Kitty Piddle is pineapple orange, and I think that's the one that I'm going to go ahead and start with. I am going to try all three of these. Okay, so pineapple orange Kitty Piddle. Smells just like soda. Um, I don't know what the calorie counts are on these. They don't really spe uh, specify on them calorie counts, but let's see what Kitty Piddle tastes like. Kitty Piddle is much more pleasant than I had anticipated. That's good. There's a strong... You know, this is interesting. Usually when you get a combination flavor and pineapple is one of the flavors, pineapple tends to be the overwhelming flavor in that combination. In this one, I think the orange is the more dominant flavor in this with that underlying flavor of pineapple. This is good. I like that a lot. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly carbonated, which I definitely appreciate. I don't really like heavily carbonated things. So that one works out perfect. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I like that a lot. I like that flavor a lot. Dog drool is orange lemon. So since we just came off of a pineapple orange, let's go with the orange lemon and see what we get here. Kind of neat little artwork on all of these, little pictures of the animals, whatever it's supposed to be. So dog drool, orange lemon flavor. Oh, I can smell a, a strong lemon aroma off of this. Yeah. That one's a little more interesting. I need another sip for this one. I'm not sure that there's a dominant flavor in this one. It's really very close. I think it's a, a perfect combination, a perfect blend of orange and lemon. If you really work at it, 
you can kind of pick out the lemon, you can kind of pick out the orange, but together it blends into a completely different taste and it's good. Again, it's not overly sweet. It's not overly carbonated. I, I'm i always going to ask for Avery's whenever I can. I, I'm liking this. This is very good. All right, let's move on to our bug barf. So this is kiwi, kiwi pineapple. Now, I, I am excited about this one. I love kiwis. Kiwi is one of my favorite flavors. So hopefully we get a nice, strong kiwi flavor off of this one. Okay, so again, bug barf, kiwi pineapple. Here we go. I smell more pineapple off of this than anything else. And I taste more pineapple off of this than anything else. I could probably sit here, drink this whole thing, really work at it, really try to pick up the kiwi. I'm not sure I would be able to say, to, to single out the kiwi flavor in this. It, it's kind of interesting how they are able to blend those two flavors together and come up with a completely different flavor where, where nothing is dominant. Uh, no one flavor is dominant over the other. This is a good one. I was a little disappointed in this just because I like the kiwi flavor so much. I had hoped that there would be a little bit stronger kiwi flavor. I think more than anything, I get those notes of pineapple. Um, but again, the carbonation is perfect on these. It's not heavily carbonated. If you don't like uh, sodas that have a lot of carbonation in them, this is going to be perfect for you. Always ask for Avery's is the brand. Uh, I'm going to look for this a lot more because, as far as I'm concerned, these are three-star seal of approval uh, sodas. I'm very intrigued to find out what monster mucus or alien snot tastes like. I'm going to have to track those down. So, If you go to their website, there's even more flavors out there. It's kind of neat to look at all the different types of flavors that they have. Uh, check those out. Those are called Always Ask for Avery's Sodas. If you run across them... Pick those up because that's something unique I have never seen before. I highly approve of those, and I will catch you next time.